like the ladies had nothing to do, and being a lake bottom, uh, they found out there were some real nice shells in, in the lake beds, and they had to dig at least two, three, four, five feet down, so they would, ladies would go out there and spend all day long just digging for seashells, and they'd get the nice seashells, and they'd make beads and birds and different ornaments out of it. Meantime, the men folks would sit out there, they'd be smoking, playing cards, and, and they see all these seagulls come in there. It says, it'd be nice if we can catch the seagulls and paint them. So they would duck inside this seashell hole, so-called the ladies dug, and set a trap up there and then catch the seagulls. And the seagulls are not small birds, they're about two foot across the wing spread. They would catch these birds and they put round insignia, stars and stripes and so forth. And they said, who can do the best designed birds? Because the birds usually fly around and they put food around there, so the birds just stay around there and they look at the birds and they, they would laugh among themselves, enjoy the birds. Meantime, the birds will go back to the west, to the coastline, to Eureka or whatever it is, the ocean side, and the game warden says, where are all these birds are coming from with all this insignias and painting on the bottom of the birds and finally they traced it back to Tuya Lake and, and they came to Tuya Lake and the game warden put a stop to painting the seagulls because they're protected birds. <laughs>